Hello, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Last time, we ended up clearing out... What dungeon is that? Roads and Catacombs. We ended up helping out Raya, ran across patches, talked to the Blackguard, dealt with the... I can't remember what the guy's name is, I just know he's the Revenger. Killed him, got his plus eight Banished Knight Halberd. And now we are over here by the Purified Ruins. You know, let's actually knock out Purified Ruins. It's fast and easy. Then we'll go over to Cliff Bottom Catacombs. I figure I'll show you how to get there, even though there is a statue that points the way. Just because sometimes these paths are a little wonky. Let's play Fireball Tag. You're it! Man, these guys aren't that good at playing Fireball Tag. Okay, so one thing to note with the ruins, there's a teleporter... ...over here. Ah, oh, I can't remember which structure. I think it's the structure just down here. Yeah, there it is. This teleporter, I believe... You know, let's just test it. I think it leads to the Rhea Lucaria gate. Yeah, I was right. It's the Rhea Lucaria gate. So, if you want to get there fast and not fight all the guys, you can take that path. But... Since we're not doing that, we're just going to clear it and head over. We won't play fireball tag with those guys again. I should get the Great Epi if I'm just going to use a thrusting weapon. Just thinking out loud, at that point I might as well just use it. I do like the Great Epi. That is a personal favorite. Stuff like the Twin Blades are cool, I can be... Oh, it's this chick. Ah... Uh... I don't know, should I go for Frenzied Flame? Eh, why not? Actually, no, we're not gonna. We're gonna go... For an ending, I think I'm gonna go Path of the Year. Uh, like the Complete, or something like that, where you use, like, Kenneth Hate and all them to... Complete it. Come out one and all from the darkness underground, and let us suffer unto the maiden our eyes. Oh yeah, another crazy guy. Hi there. It's a tough decision to make for endings, because with this build, I could go Frenzied Flame, since Frenzied Flame does kind of lean into faith to a degree, and I can actually utilize the stuff it gives you, as opposed to sitting here like, oh, I can't do anything with it, don't you don't? Yeah. No little trumpet boy action here. Not having any of that.
You guys should totally look over that direction. You should investigate that noise. Nobody knows what that was. Just spontaneous lightning bolts everywhere. Yeah, Cuckoo Glen stones are just... If you need to do... Magic damage, you just throw them, use a bit of FP and create some homing... Like, glenstone spell things. Not that great. I can't really figure out where I would, what I'd want to do with them, whether buff or nerf. No, not, definitely not nerf, but how to buff them. Ooh. Shapiri Grape! Actually, we're gonna go Frenzied Flame Ending. Why not? I changed my mind. We're going evil. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you... seem... somehow... firmer. I heard the steps and I had to look around. There's just a giant prawn scuttling around. You are most kind. May the blessing of the All I could think when she's like, oh, the other ones are frail and shaking and they gently touch my eyes. I'm like, that's a crackhead. <laughs> Have you never seen one? <laughs> I mean, she's blind. She can't exactly see a crackhead, but... That's still a crackhead if I've ever heard of a description of one. Now that we got that dealt with, let's gallop our goofy ass over here and get to the next dungeon. Fungin in the dungeon. Fungibles in the dungeons. Yeah, don't stop when you're getting to this area. Because the vulgar militia is here. Which they're just like... Halflings with hatchets. Oh yeah, this guy. You can get an item from him. Can't remember what it was. Not worth it. Or it might be worth it. It's just not noteworthy. Let's see, the door should be here. I will be 100% honest. This dungeon sucks. And it's not because of... the design, it's the enemies. Is there something up here? No, okay. In that case, we'll just bring that back down.
Come on. Yeah, this dungeon is just... I hate omens. Like, their whole weakness is just that you can stagger them. But I don't know how good that's going to work with this sword. Hang on, do I even have... Hmm, <clears throat> that is tempting. Because I could switch to the Great Epi and have a lot more reach and probably more damage. You know what? Yeah, we'll be back. I'm gonna get the Great Epi because... I feel like the extra stagger is going to be worth it, and we'll power it up, we'll do the whole nine yards, and that'll be useful. Okay, let's try this whole thing over again. Now that we have the Great Epi, which has way more reach, quick little info bit so you know where it is, it's in this camp. It's not that difficult, there's some Godric guys, two like zombie guys, one up here, one up here that can cast spells, and then a couple of Caden knights. But I brought this baby up to plus 10. As you can see, 146 plus 11, 146 plus 76. Even a plus 8 basic Roger's rapier is only 136 plus 50. When this was with the holy enchantment, it was 100, like 104 plus something, and 104 plus something. It did not get even close to the damage output of this. This breaks 300 easy. And it gets better two handed. See, does that actually. I think under status? Okay, right armament. 383 3D, okay, so it, it does boost, it's just not a lot But yeah, that's that's a good amount of more poke That's what we're looking for here is as much reach as I can muster Get my lantern back out Kidding it's a little slower, but the damage, I think, is better. It doesn't have that double thrust for a heavy, but this is a nice wide sweep. And I think that's going to make up for a lot of deficits here. Okay, so this little guy... three hits instead of like a five hit combo needed this will be a good weapon for a while I think so we're gonna go the easy quote unquote easy way through here first it's actually the way that doesn't complete the dungeon because you actually have to drop down but I don't want to deal with that so ha idiot you fell to the oldest trick in the book, a trap. And then we got a guy who will be just around this corner. Googly eyeing me like that. And then we have two omens. One down here, as you can see, laying on the ground. And one above.
Yeah. It's gonna be tough to deal with these guys. I hate omens so much. They're durable, they're stupid. They aggravate me. Yeah, you're just getting lightninged. Lightning McQueen, ka -chow. Yeah, dodge me, homie. See how that treats in here. Oh, I hate those guys so much. And there's three more down below. I'll have to later on switch off this weapon and get a proper two-handed heavy weapon to do staggers. Because that's what my main build is. I use a... God, what do I use? That was... sus. But whatever. Use Stone Sword Key, yes. In terms of- whoa! Oh yeah, the stupid thing not going away. But, in terms of the loot here, this isn't really worth it. The Nox Mirror Helm. It's fancy, but it's heavy, and... I mean, it, this isn't a good metric to compare it to. So, we'll, we'll go with that, and... Yeah, the problem just is the 7.5 pound weight. Because if we go for a helmet near that... For weight... Let's see. Clean Rot, a little bit lighter. Better physical, worse everything else. Banish Knight. Better everything, still lighter. It's just the magic fire and holy, and then its resistances are lower. A point could be made... to... using it, but... my big thing is just the weight. And what can I say? Wearing the, the incantation scarab or any scarab, it's like playing on hard mode. And I'm stupid and do it anyways. Even though everything else I try to do in these games is path of least resistance. I need a little bit more faith. I mean, I... I need to upgrade the God Slayer seal a little bit more. I think that's where it's starting to fall off now. But that's fine, I can get what I need and upgrade it. Oh, I also... Whoa! You are not dead. Now you are. I upgraded the Skeletal Militiamen to plus four. Because, you know, they're reliable. They're my go-to. Oh. Give me one of these. Come on. Sucks I'm not getting any uh what you call it's off this, but Oh god. No criticals, but it's whatever. Got the scythe. 
actually have a scythe. The clean rot one, the halo scythe. It's not bad. I just don't like scythe like attack combos. I think they're a bit clunky. Okay. So we're gonna I saw that phantom try and stuff and that's tempting. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Even though this is incredibly stupid. I mean, the damage is doing pretty good. Just sucks it takes four fully charged fireballs. Then we drop. Yeah, if you can sneak by these guys, more power to you. Because I don't like fighting them. And especially if you aggro both, I've had so many people drop in here, immediately start throwing down against both. The fight gets out of hand super fast, and everybody dies. Keep moving. Okay, now we got this guy. This guy is easy to deal with. Boom, easy kill. And you can say what you want. Oh, but all you did was sit there and trigger the trap. Yes, I did. And I have no shame in that. Fight smarter, not harder. Let's just hit him with balls. Punk, sitting here trying to throw stuff at me. Alright, so we're gonna end up resting right after this, because I could go into the fight, but I am not comfortable going into the fight this dinged up. And fighting just two imps isn't that big of a deal. I'd rather do that than, yeah, than try to go in, beat up low resources. Just isn't worth the hassle.
Alright, this time let's go skeletal militiamen. This shouldn't be that difficult. If I remember right, yeah, this is easy mode. Burial watchdogs are never a challenge. The only one that is actually tough is Impaler's Catacombs. And that's just because it has health. No, no, no. Ah, I killed one. Boo. The only good part is hopefully that'll mean the other skeletal militiaman has time to revive each time. Cell sword ash is not great, but it's not a terrible ash either. And this is something interesting to note. The catacombs are where you find death root, and you notice these bodies merging into the roots. These are thought to be the roots of the Erd tree. So it's reaching all the way into these catacombs, kind of assimilating the dead here. Interesting lore bit. And I have one other little dungeon I wanted to show. We'll get to there from... We'll go Foot of the Four Belfries. Hop on Torrent and just ride along. Avoid the prawns. Those things have, like, aimbots attached to them. We're actually going to come back to here, because you see this little pillar of light. We'll come back to that spot later. We need to, to get actually into Rhea Lucaria. But we got a few more neat little places we can stop at first. Actually, it's right up ahead. That's pretty good lining up of everything. I will warn you, this place is rough. <laughs> Academy Crystal Cave. I hope you like getting hit with spells. Lots and lots of spells. Man, it is tempting just to summon people. Oh. You know what? We'll... We'll compromise. We'll make it partway through... And then we'll start... We'll go back and get a summon. Ah, not even. We'll be fine. This fight boils down to don't be dumb. Yeah, look at that. But I can just... Oh, I need two. Three. Okay, yeah, we're just charging this stuff up then, if that's the way we're playing this. Thread the needle like a pro. MLG lightning bolts right there. Rhea Lucaria robe, even if you're a caster, don't use this. It doesn't do anything. It just looks fancy. I mean, if you're a caster, as, ow, as long as you're sitting at high enough uh, 
in Vigor, you should be wearing armor of some sort. Oh my god, those hitboxes. I literally am just dodging. I'm hunched over just enough each spell sails over, that is... God, this game does a phenomenal job on hitboxes. <laughs> Okay, this door. We're going to come back to this door because this door sucks. We're going to make sure the rest of this area is clear. Everybody's saying there's a path here. There isn't. Stone sword, okay, so you kind of pay for getting in. That's one thing I appreciate is I don't really try to go out of my way to get stone sword keys, and I always have enough. I do tend to buy them when I find them, but even then I'm pretty good. Still, you should pick them up just in case you miss some in other areas. Okay, so you see that guy? That guy is not the problem. That guy's a chump. We're going to move slowly. See that guy? That guy's huge. He is Xbox huge. And he hurts. You notice all the dead, all the blood stains here. It's this guy. Oh god, I've already screwed up. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna soak the hit and take the drink. Because I don't want to screw with this guy any more than I have to. Yeah, <laughs> he does that. I wonder if I can wing this at the door. Okay, no. Okay, so can I wing this in a little more to the left? Yes! Yeah, these guys suck. It's the only one in here, but he is awful. He's so dangerous. Can I just wing this up here? Can't play that foolishly. We're gonna duck out of the room and see what we can do. Ah, I thought I could walk in mid-cast and hit him. Finally. All that for a rune arc. And what sucks is I can't even go back to rest because the boss is here. And I'd have to fight that guy all over again. It's whatever, I got enough. Because the boss is... More crystal dudes! Actually, that one with the staff is dangerous. I, I have to take him out immediately. Whoa! 
But yeah, I, I have to remove him as fast as possible. Because that hurt. As long as it, he's kept busy. Yeah, I got the break on him, so now he's doomed. Yeah, now this is easy. Because it's just this guy and his goofy stance. Yeah, what sucks is because they actually have low health, the black flame percentage is still really low. It's actually a really great way to make a boss challenging, is by giving them high armor, but then low health, so percentages just fail. And even though we can teleport out, we're not going to. We're going to take this elevator. We're now in Rea Lucaria, but we can't exactly go anywhere. Because you notice the height on this thing. We are at, I believe, the highest point in the tower. Terra Magica, that is... I actually have to check that spell. Yeah, it raises magic strength of those within the sigil. So if you're an intelligence caster, you get that and then you use... Uh, Comet Azure to nuke people. Yeah, it's the highest point in the area. Now we have to ride this all the way down. That's everything here. More hay. There's a, 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 a wall here. Or a illusory wall. People love doing that. And that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.